Hey, it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church. Thanks for watching this Proverbs Practical. Today's proverb looks at the ideal woman's enabling of her husband. We're in Proverbs 31, verse 23. It says, Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. So now we glance back at the husband. We haven't seen much about him. Mostly this passage has been this ode to the character qualities of the woman. But apparently, at least in part, because of her efforts and labors and successes, he's able to achieve a very high standing. He sits among the elders of the land because he belongs with them. He is now a leader in his own right. Even among the elders, he is famous. It's pretty well known that we achieve the most when we work together. We're more efficient when we specialize a little, allowing each person to focus on one set of tasks rather than each person trying to do everything by themselves. Rather than this woman striving for control, I think she sees the two of them as a partnership. Their influence together becomes national. He doesn't just sit among the elders of the city, but among the elders of the land. She's a crown to him, part of the reason why he is respected and admired, that he should have such a woman working with him and helping and enabling him. Because he doesn't have to worry about domestic details or even family finances, it appears, he's able to focus on leadership. He's able to use all of his mental energy on the problems of the city or community or nation. And because he's not distracted and has a limited number of decisions that he has to make, he can make better decisions than other leaders who aren't so well supported. He has absolute trust in his wife, and she's worthy of that trust, and so they succeed together. He may be sitting in the gates, but I don't think he could do what he does without her. This may seem demeaning to popular culture. Oh, sure, her worth is in what she enables a man to do. He gets to be the famous one. Why can't she be the famous one? Why can't she be the one in charge, sitting in the gates? Well, in the first place, it's kind of funny that if we come to an ode about an ideal woman and then focus on just one statement in one verse about a man, there's kind of an irony there. But more importantly, are any of us, man or woman, supposed to be doing this life for our own glory and authority and power and praise? The reality is that this woman is praised. And it's entirely possible that her husband is known not just or so much for himself, but as the lucky guy with that incredible woman. However, our life's worth is not summed up in how many people know our names or how many people we gave orders to, but in how well we please the Lord. His recognition will mean far more than that of any leader on earth or any other person. It's probably worth noting that not every husband of every good woman, not every good man, will end up being one of the rulers or the leaders of the city or the nation. Just like not every good woman is a wizard at spinning thread and sewing, not every man will end up ruling. Only so many can. A woman shouldn't feel like she's inferior or isn't doing her job well if her husband isn't in charge of everyone and everything. Her role is not to push him to rule the nation, but to enable him to succeed at his endeavors, to help him be as much as he and the Lord allow him to be. However, a man whose wife has confidence in him and helps him, a man who can trust his wife, often ends up displaying more confidence and strength and capability before the world as well. It's not inevitable, it's not invariable, but it is astonishing how much of a difference a man's, in a man's career and accomplishments having a supportive wife can make. He can have success and be respected even without being a literal ruler, and she has her success at least in part because of her effect upon others, not least including her own husband. I hope this video is a help to you. If it is, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insights from the scriptures. Until next time, I hope you stay well and live for the success of others.